Welcome back guys. Today we have a fun video. It's a follow-up to sharpening this Sandrin TCK tungsten carbide knife. I've got a lineup of all of the stones which showed any promise of actually being capable of sharpening the Sandrin. And today we're going to test them grit by grit, stone by stone, and see what sort of best numbers they return and which one produces the finest edge. I've just been given a flower garden by Mara. How you doing Mara? Good. You enjoying lockdown? Yeah. Oh good. Pizza goofball. Pizza goofball, that's what you want the world to know? Uh -huh. But we like him, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so respectively today we've got three grits of Easy Lap Bonded Diamond Stone. We've got two grits of Veneve. We're going to try a Spiderco Ultrafine, a Ruby Stone, a Falkneven Ceramic, the CC4. We're going to see how it goes on Pinewood with 0.5 Micron DMT Spray. We're going to see how it does on Cardboard with a mix of Silica and Diamond. We're paste those are pastes not sprays the that sandwich of, of ceramic tiles there is four different grits of lapping film diamond lapping film inside and then this is a new method this is an aluminum rod because one of pete's viewers when he actually posted the video on sharpening the ceramic a machinist commented on it and he said that he works a lot with tungsten carbide and his favorite method is diamond spray on aluminum bar stock because the ceramics as you put the the uh, abrasives as you slide the knife across they embed into the soft aluminum but then they present this uh, very aggressive I guess you would say strop as opposed to leather or wood or cardboard or whatever which allows the particles to be sort of pushed out of the way it sort of presents these immovable less movable particles so we'll try that with the 0.5 micron dmt diamond spray as well and we'll get best numbers for all of that back to you guys i should specify that we are here on my porch because new zealand is still in a lockdown and not only that but i've got rained out of my yard so we're just making the best of things here hopefully the lighting does doesn't end up being too bad for you guys, but let's get into things.
Okay, so interesting observations. Nothing so far that I would call truly sharp. The 250 grit coarse stone got close to being an adequate edge, but ironically, as we went up in grit, we also went up in best pressure required to sever the line. Now, this would actually seem to indicate that the articles that Todd Simpson has written on the science of sharp are true of tungsten as well as steel where he observed an actual roughening of the edge as you go up in grit in diamond plates without stropping. So from here we're going to go on to the Veneve 400 grit and then 800 grit diamond water stone and then we'll get into the Spider Coast ceramics and the ruby stone. Here we go.
So a very surprising result. The best numbers so far that approach a workable edge are actually on the ceramics, which many people claim are too soft to cut carbide. But here is a blade made of pure carbide, which apparently is polished very, very well by particularly the Sp Spyderco Ultrafine. So that's very interesting. We're gonna move on to Ruby here and see how we go. It's a very small stone, so it may take some time, but this will be interesting to see as well. Okay, very interesting results. I think um, I'll have to go back and review all the best numbers, but definitely the only number under 300 is the suggestion that was given by the machinist who actually works with tungsten carbide. It was the aluminum strop. So uh, 278 is like a reasonable amount of sharpness. It's not as sharp as most steels will get with the same treatment. But I think that in conclusion, it's not very easy to get tungsten carbide to a satisfying level of sharpness by hand. It's quite, quite challenging. I'll probably do a follow-up video and just chat about some of the results in another video because this one is probably getting a bit long. But anyway, for now, I'll just say peace out. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you have a good one. Bye.